I hope so too. So let's go to um. Let let's call on. Do you guys have his Skype name? Um. Yes, they have it. Yeah. So call in uh, Kevin Blatt, the sex tape broker. <laughs> so this is what this guy does. Yes. So he's he was involved with the Paris tape. He was involved with the Kim K tape. Apparently, he's got videos of Charlie Sheen sucking dick. Like I don't know. For real. It's. Yes, that's like he can't talk about a lot of them, but he like. I, but he can talk about mine, I guess. <laughs> Come on, I, I, <laughs> yeah, my I guess you did. Uh, I mean, I don't know what we're doing. So we're giving the background. This guy emailed me, I don't know, a couple days ago, out of the blue. And he's basically like, for lack of better words, said he was a Hollywood like fixer of sorts. So I'm thinking like Ray Donovan. He's basically I have a sex tape being shopped that somebody's trying to sell to him and maybe send a porn hub. Um, and he said he was a fan and I don't know whether what that meant exactly, but like, if I want to try to stop it, this was his area of expertise. Um, and I sent it to you, Eddie. And I was like, we might as well talk about it. And, and here, here is where we are at this point. So consequently, I got involved in the adult industry many, many years ago. In fact, I met you on the red carpet at Dave, about I think 2014, maybe 2015. Yeah, the Does that sound familiar? Yeah. You cut out there yes. for a second, but yeah. yes. So having worked the adult industry, people started finding me to get on Howard Stern and, and other various platforms because I was kind of a PR slash marketing guy. And that's when the Paris Hilton sex tape came along. And uh, we put that out, never thinking in a million years in 2003 that this would be something I'd still be fucking talking about in 2020. But here we are. So um, Kim Kardashian... Uh, God, Colin Farrell, Cameron Diaz, Vern Troyer, uh, there's so many, the list goes on and on and on. Many athletes, many rappers. I did not think in a bazillion years that I would end up on this list of people. So I got, like I said, I got the email a couple days ago and, and it was like, hey, I'm a fan. This is being yeah. shopped around. So when, like, how does, like, what happens? Someone's like Dave, Dave Portnoy sex tape subject line? Uh, kind of. I got hit up uh, on a direct message on uh, Instagram, and the gentleman told me, hey, I've got a sex tape of Dave Portnoy from Barstool Sports. Uh, you might know who he is. Uh, he's with a blonde girl, and uh, it's really kinky. And I said, all right, well, guy, you're, ta you're talking to a guy who's been in the porn industry for like 20 years, so what's kinky? Like, is the guy like hanging upside down? <laughs> what the hell is he doing? And they said, well, he's got some type of ligar ligature around her neck, and he's doing her from behind. And I go, I'm, I'm not hearing anything kinky here. This just sounds like sex to me. And uh, I said, well, you're going to have to send me a few screenshots just to ascertain it really is him, because obviously I'm hip to Barstool Sports and, and the pizza reviews and, and everything else. So he sends it over to me, and uh, I don't know if this is okay. I mean, there's no nudity on this, but I could just show you one. Uh, yeah, you yeah, yeah. Well, person? yep. How the fuck does that get out? I don't know. You look pretty good. I'll give you that. I mean, I wish I was in as good a shape as you are. But, fuck. Uh, it's like, all right. He, yeah. I well, mean, that. listen. First of all, I didn't respond. I didn't know what to make of it. And, and you get hit up by that. Like you said, you were a fan. It's like, is this guy trying to get money from me? What's he trying to do? I never really know. I would love to know what type of scumbag is pushing that. But I already have a couple out there. So it's like. You know, I, I really – the only thing I care about in these situations is the girl's face. Like, I feel terrible for the girl. Like, the girl didn't sign up for that, for her face to be out there. But I don't care about me. It's like everyone's already seen me fuck. It's already out there. So I don't care. Like, the, the, I don't care at all about me. I just care the girl. It's like the girl gets her fucking life kind of dragged through the ringer for a couple of weeks, you know, if it comes out. Well, you know, the funny thing is – you're actually doing what I advise 90% of the people that come to me to do, and that is to confront it, be open about it. It's sex. All of us wouldn't be here if it weren't for sex. Uh, however, you're in a different situation. You are owned by a public company. Sometimes these things could affect stocks. Right. I mean, you just don't know. I mean, in this case, there really is. I mean, look, I had a situation arise not that long ago with the owner of Guess, a guy named Paul Marciano. And, Girls were coming to me, and they're saying, oh, this guy was doing this and doing that. And I said to the guy, listen, if I were you, I'd throw a couple bucks at her, make her go away, because you just don't need this right. to affect your business. 
and he was defiant, defiant. Uh, the fucker, I'm not going to give her anything, the blah, 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 blah. And I said, look, hey, you know, listen, uh, throw her something. I think I gave her 10 grand or something and just said, look, I'll buy in your story. Just be quiet. And two weeks later, Kate Upton came out of nowhere with the same story, which made all these other girls come out of everywhere. And if you remember, it cost him like $200 million in stock. And then they took his job away from him. So he wasn't able to, to yeah, recruit I, models anymore. So that's Yeah, the kind I mean, of I that, get that. I get you know, that. I mean, I have consensual them. sex, breaking news, like what you said. I'm a single, like, 43-year-old guy that likes to fuck. So, yes, there's – but it's cra- – it is – now, like you said, they could sell to Pornhub. Like, Pornhub is not going to fucking buy that. That's illegal, right? Like, we, like, they took down everything because it's our copyright. I don't know who got it. I don't know how they got it. I don't know who the person selling it is. But that in itself is illegal, isn't it? So the way it works is this, okay, in order to put out a legal sex tape, there's a law called USC 2257, which basically states that all the parties are basically giving their rights for their exploitation commercially for a sex tape. If you don't have the two people, like you and this blonde, signing off on it, then it's not a legal sex tape, and you can't commercially put it out. However, I used to work with Pornhub. I used to do their PR for many years, so I could tell you that what happens is somebody uploads it, a community member uploads it to them, then it ends up on their platform. And you know, once it's out there, you, you know, once yeah. the genie's out of the bottle, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. So once it's out there, what happens is your lawyers send what's called a DMCA notice to Pornhub. It's a Digital Millennium Copyright Act notice that tells them that they're in violation of a video that does not have the proper uh, paperwork. And then they have to take it down. Now, the loophole there is Pornhub does this all day long with all kinds of copywritten material. So it's kind of a vicious cycle. So you, you basically send in the DMCA notice, they take it down, and then two days yeah, later we were somebody per- puts it back up again. Yeah, we were pretty That's good with it. Like, so my previous one, I was the number one, somebody in the unboxing when we were open the gift sent me like a framed actually thing. I was the number one search trend on Pornhub. But we got that down and it's not back up. Like they do not, they don't fuck with it. Like the old ones, people look for them, we wiped them. This one, it, it you can end up on Reddit or different was, things, but we... Our, whoever our lawyers are have done a decent job of being like, get this off, get this totally off. Well, it's funny because, again, doing my research, I combed the web to find the initial tape that I'd heard about. Can't find it anywhere. And that is so unbelievable that you must have some either fucking great attorneys or they must really like you over at Pornhub and the other places because – I've never seen it. Colin Farrell hasn't been as lucky as you. Even though I took that thing off the market, there's still a video on Pornhub of Colin Farrell and Nicole Narain. It's crazy that yours has just been deleted from the web. Never seen that Maybe before. Maybe they do like me. Life. I don't know. I mean, and I assume with this one, it's just a matter of time. Like once it starts getting shopped, and I've known it. Like I, I knew, I knew I had a sex tape out there because people tried to like blackmail me before it came out. So. I kind of figured when you sent me that, it was going to be the same one. What you just showed me was not the same one. So that's a little bit disturbing. (laughs) Um, But I would like to hunt down the person doing it and ruin his life. Well, here's the thing. So what was told to me, and again, don't shoot the messenger. This is what was said to me. The guy had hit me up, some kid. Do you know anybody in North Carolina? I mean, maybe. So the kid resides in North Carolina. tells me he's on a group text with a friend of his in Annapolis, Maryland, who's friends with this girl. And the girl sent him the video, which is 44 seconds in length. And uh, this kid, unbeknownst to his friend, and obviously the girl comes to me to try to sell it because, you know, I'm like the Fred G. Sanford. Of, so he of, like uh, Googled you or something? He's right? like so, celebrity sex tapes and you come up. Right, which yep. is why I do shows like this. I mean, in addition to everything else I do, it brings people to me, and then in actuality, I buy it up, and I make it quietly go away for a lot of people. Um, you know, there's a there's a term I use called the dummy tax. Okay, so like Von Miller a couple of years ago, a sex tape comes to me from Von Miller. Von Miller wasn't smart enough to realize if you take a sex tape, you should do it on your own phone and not the chick's phone. The chick filmed it. Sent it to me. The next thing you know, it gets out there. His lawyer is an idiot. Uh, he basically describes who his client is without basically telling who his client is, which got everybody in the media because it was a blind item story originally. And then all of a sudden, people put two and two together. Oh, it's Von Miller, 
right? So that's the kind of stuff that happens. Again, I try to thwart these things and, and stifle them. But initially, you know, when I contacted you, I'm going, okay, he's going to definitely freak out and he's going to think I'm trying to shake him down. Because 90% of the time, that's what the celebrities do. Um, and then when they realize I'm friend and not foe, we work together. In your case, not being married, not having kids, uh, not having a girlfriend works in your favor because you're not freaked out. You're like, look, I have yeah. sex. Big and fucking deal. Right? Which is the way you should. This yeah, is the, exactly like I said, I the only thing about do. telling the backstory of like the girl sending, then I don't care. It's like, it, listen, if a girl is like, I'm fine with being on the internet, getting fucked by Dave Portnoy, I don't give a fuck. It, but I don't. So the, the that was made on my phone, but sent to her. So we both had it. It's like a consensual thing, and then, then who knows? Who knows how to connect the dots or anything like that? But no, now, do is I there know a somebody in North Carolina? Yeah. Because you Listen, need half I'll, and half. Is there a possibility she's given her fifty percent, and then she wants Dave to give his fifty percent? He just like, gave is she me a trying compliment. to make money. Eddie, he just gave me a compliment that you fucking cut him off. <laughs> what? Do you got a good stroke? Yeah. We we knew yeah, that. Yeah. We knew the back well. Yeah, you got a good stroke. You know, I, I would recommend Dave if you're interested. I do know a myriad of people in the industry that could possibly use the wood. You mean like get you know paid? What I'm saying? Get paid so, to I be mean, like a porn star. Yeah, yeah that one go, that probably money. wouldn't go good for the pen stock in that case. The other stuff, again, I got to be more careful, clearly. Um, but the fact that people want to like think anyone would pay to watch me have sex still kind of boggles my mind. Boggles my mind. Uh, obviously, you have a lot of female uh, fans from your caller daddy. So, you know, you know, you just never know who you can meet along the way <laughs> because like I said, this is not a situation where I would say, Oh, this is terrible. It's not like screech from uh say by the right. bell. You're not doing a dirty Sanchez. You're not like, uh, you know, this is, this isn't abnormal sex. It's not a kid. It's not an animal. So, I mean, look, if Dave Portnoy, have does Dave's sex. dick make an appearance in this one? And what? not bad. Does Dave's dick make an appearance? Um, I did not, I did not see the dick because of the positioning. Um, but I am going to assume. I mean, look, some of us Jew boys, <laughs> we got it like that. Others not, not, not so good. But um, like I said, big fan, definitely like your work. All right, I this appreciate it. Like I said, though. that was my impression when I saw the email. I didn't know what to make. I didn't really care because it was already out but i go on on you i was like i obviously a fan i thought it was uh not a shakedown but it's like all right does my job pay me and i'll stop it but it, it once the internet gets going and by the way this is never going to stop i know this is not going to stop for me because i was loosey-goosey back in the day um and there's just shit out there i know that like the first one that came out I was actually was dating a girl at the time and i i warned her i'm like i know this is out and I've been threatened with it. It's old, and it'll probably come out at some time, and it did. So what are you going to do? I, I won't. Go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say the other side of it is I get shopped so many things, and what constitutes fame these days? You know, if somebody's on a reality show now, and a guy was banging her five years ago when she was basically nobody, who would ever think in a million years that that sex tape is going to make it, you know, online? But this is the kind of world we live in now where everybody's famous for 15 minutes. And, uh, you know, I get something like I remember years ago, Derek Jeter oh, had a girlfriend named hot. Minka Kelly. And, <sighs> bro, uh, most amazing I tape would I've pay ever seen. But again, infinite Derek Jeter's got dollars for that sex tape. I didn't. That, that's like news to me. Did I didn't even know well, that existed. That's because I do good work. But it wasn't with Derek Jeter. It was with an ex-boyfriend of hers from New Mexico many, many years ago. And bro, I gotta tell you something. Hot Alicia Cuff. That one. That one hit. One, that I one. She was parts of that, hit. I believe, did hit. Right. Like I feel like I knew that existed. There's a fake. There's a. There's a bunch of stills of her that's been faked. But um, you know, she's yeah. kind of gone back into obscurity. So it's not like. Buddy, she was married to the pitcher. No, uh, that's Kate Upton. Verlander, right? Uh, from Detroit. She was a hockey oh, that's player. Kate Upton. I'm trying to think. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 Cuthbert yeah. was with the hockey player. Yeah, right, right. Sucks the hockey. Jesus. So, yeah, that was a good one. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful girl, man. Wow. So, uh, you know, but then it's the gay stuff that I get, too, that's the ones where people pay more. Like, I had a tape many years ago of a very famous Boston Celtic. And, um, yes. Yes, I can probably tell you off air because 
God knows I don't need any more uh, lawsuits this week. But uh, when I tell you, you're going to go, all right, I kind of see it. <laughs> I'm, I'm at a loss. You're going to have to tell me off. I am <laughs> absolutely at a loss at who that could be. What what time yeah. frame? What years are we talking here? Uh, not that long ago. Probably about five years ago. But played 10 to... I, I have somebody in my mind. I'm not going to say it out loud either, but I'll I'll do it after. All right. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, well I appreciate that. you coming on. I appreciate now that I've gotten to meet you, even though you're wearing the Ohio State shirt, that it was out of like, hey, let me do you this favor. Um, like I said, I'd love to know who it is and just – that's the one thing other than these celebrities, and I don't know how to find the people who are at the bottom of this, but if I ever did, I would ruin their lives. Like, I don't think celebrities are necessarily – like, I would I would put my well, – I would do everything in my power with my with what is at my, like, disposal on the internet and, like, troll. I would go all in on these people. And, again, not for me. Unless the girl is like, yeah, I'm fine with it, but I don't I, – I have a hard time believing that's the case. You and I are a lot alike, Dave. In fact, I get yelled at all the time for not uh, – I don't just burn right, bridges. Yeah. I blow them the fuck up. So I need to learn to be a little more civil as I'm 51 now and I need to calm down. But I'm, I'm with you, bro. Somebody's trying to, to, to discredit me yes. or trying to you know, smudge my name. Right. I'm going to go after them full, full time. And that's what my services basically entail. That's why you know, that's why I'm basically here. I wasn't looking to make millions of dollars on this thing because that's, I'm going to be honest with you on the second part of this. Male sex tapes don't make any money. And I know I'm, I'm probably cannibalizing my business to your audience by saying that, but nobody's looking for guys banging girls, They're looking at dick. They're 100%. looking at a hot chick getting banged. You're second. You're secondary. second. They don't want to see that. So that's why uh, Colin Farrell and all these other sets, uh, right. Dustin Diamond. All right, I appreciate it. We'll have to connect after and figure out the Celtics player. <laughs> For sure. Right. I'd love to tell cool. you. Thank you. Love to Thanks, tell you. Thanks. Yeah, Be you good, too. My Take friend. care. Nice to meet you. Take care, brother. All right, so now what, Eddie?